What's up, everybody? Uh, I got a special treat for you today. Uh, my recent trip out to Wasteland Weekend in California, uh, I stopped in Phoenix to visit my buddy Tim Bowman. He has this insane Honda. Uh, it's definitely uh, ready for the end of the world. He's put a lot of time and uh, a lot of work into it, and uh, I don't know, it just doesn't have words to describe it. So uh, check out the video. Hope you like it. So it's a 2008 Civic Si. Uh -huh. um, I've had it for 11 years, and I have lifted the Civic. It's on two-inch lift. Um, I upgraded it from stock suspension to holding 4,000 pounds instead of 2,800. <laughs> I've still got these fat ass Wrangler tires on it. Fat ass Wrangler tires. Yeah, and those are 15 right. by 10 rims. 15 by 10 all the way around? All the way around. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to try to make them smaller. You got the basket over here that I've had forever. I cut out the thing so you can stand through it. Um, if you were to pretend to gun shit down. Yeah. yeah. And you made these uh, the window covers? Window covers out of angle iron? Yep. All the scrap metal on this thing's basically been free. Um, this bumper back here, I've tested it up to 750 pounds. <laughs> so it holds a decent amount of weight. Um, I got dual CV antennas with three, but the two that stick up right are the two that work. Uh -huh. um, the different exhaust, it's got Type R headers from Japan, then it's got um, NVIDIA. Uh, mid pipe all the way down till the exhaust here, which I did kind of like a one of those off road trucks, you know, the, mm -hmm. the Overland Bound style. Yeah, so I had to get it off the ground so that big ass can wasn't hanging there. Yep. Uh, it had a turbo in the trunk, but I blew the turbo up five times and got tired of rebuilding it. <laughs> um, so it used to have a wide body on it, and I took it off. Let's see, Let's get in the back seat too. While we're going. Mm -hmm. Or not. <laughs> so you have 737, 747 passenger seats in the back. Much more comfortable than the stock ones, apparently. Um, ammo can, center console. Completely gutted except for these door panels because I have a kid. Here you have um, you know, shotgun bandolier, fire extinguisher. Custom bezel panel. I moved, I moved the radio above where it should be. Got a hybrid racing short shifter. Um, it's got the uh, Honda tuning module right there. <laughs> Gauges to see temperatures because it's so bloody hot out here. Um, cargo net on the roof rack. My favorite thing, the little hula girl over there that I've had forever. <laughs> Surround lights on it all the way around so you can see because I can't see when I'm backing up. <laughs> yep, I know that feeling. <laughs> Custom headlights. This was the first generation with a seven inch LED bar and then like a little four inch pod. These are the fog lights. I never remember to turn those on. We have <laughs> the daytime running lights, high beams, and then these are the regular lights, which are great for seeing all around up front. Somehow they go all the way over there too. And it's got a completely upgraded fuel system. Alright, so.
so it's got a short ram intake which is actually cold air because air gets through there's a big ass hole behind it um, it's got a fuel rail 550 cc injectors fuel pressure regulator it's got a 300 liter per hour fuel pump in the back full half sport race mounts so the engine never moves um, it's got the uh, strut bar across on the top on the bottom also in the back on the bottom Oh, <laughs> 